judges the law. That's powerful. But watch this now. If you thought that was powerful. But if you judge the law, you are not a doer of the law, but a judge. And there is only one lawgiver who is able to save and destroy. Who are you to judge another? All right. Now, that lesson is not only for us outwardly, it's for us inwardly. Do you receive that? Yeah. Do not let anybody beat up on you as if they got that black robe and they're up here trying to tell you what time it is as if they were God Almighty themselves. You are children of the Most High. You are redeemed in the righteous. All right? Don't let a false judge bring his anvil down on your holy head. Amen. Amen. Likewise, don't do it to anybody else. <laughs> Amen. 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 All right, now, how can we tie this off? All right, so we got the bus. We understand there's direction. This is that ride. We know that God wants us all to go to heaven, all creation to go to heaven. But we know, church, he wants us to enjoy the ride, right? And we looked at that. We said direction, he calls the shots. We said things, he wants us to have but he doesn't want them to have us. Then we looked at, are you seeking the kingdom by looking towards something or towards someone? So when we looked at Genesis and Lot's looking here, there, this, that, and the other, and instead of looking toward some place, some plot of land, Abraham is looking toward God. Then we looked at people, not just people, we got to have the right people. Lastly, church, we've got to ask ourselves, who's driving? Who's driving this bus? Who's driving your life? Well, let's close with Proverbs 16.9. You guys let me know when you get there, church. 16.9. And I'm sure you already know the scripture. Amen. Proverbs 16, 9. Mm -hmm. Now I want us to all read this together. Ready? Read. A man's heart plans his way, but the Lord directs his steps. Amen. 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 I love, I love, love, love that Carrie Underwood song. Jesus, take the wheel. Jesus, take the wheel. You know, when I was a kid, we used to play this game called Shotgun. You know what that is? Like when, when you and your brothers and sisters or your friends were all getting a ride by either your parent or somebody's parents, and you go, Shotgun! And that means you get to sit up front. Right? But then don't you know, once you get older, you ride in Shotgun, and you look at maybe it's your older brother or your older cousin or even a family member, friend, whatever, who's driving, and you go, I can't wait till I can drive. Shotgun was all right. That, that's bad. That's good. Bad in the 70s, not good. I'm a little bit old. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right? But that's, you, that's cool, right? Jesus, take the wheel. You track it with me? What we desire in the natural is the exact opposite in the spiritual. We love the looks of sitting behind that wheel back in the day. And that's because when we were children, we thought as children, we spoke as children, we acted as children. But when we became mature, we put aside childish things. I don't want to be behind the wheel no more, sister. I crashed one too many times into that wall because I was behind that wheel. I'm sure Pastor Renee would confess he had to learn the whole way. My brother, Isaac, we want to keep it real. This is church, right? Yes. When we're behind the wheel, anything good happen, brother? No. Jesus, take the wheel. Amen. Let me give this to you. Imagine that there is a bank that credits your account each morning with $86,400. It 
carries over no balance from day to day. Every evening, it deletes whatever part of the balance you fail to use during the day. Follow me. What would you do? Well, every day then, you would draw out every cent. Right? Because the next day, otherwise, it's going to be erased. You would draw it out. And each and every one of us has such a bank. It's called time. It's called time. Every morning, we are credited with 86,400 seconds. Every night, it writes off as lost whatever of this you have failed to invest in the kingdom of heaven. It carries over no balance. It allows for no overdraft. Each day it opens a new account for you. And each night it burns the remains of the day. If you fail to use the day's deposit, the loss is yours, church, and mine. There is no going back. There is no drawing against the tomorrow. You must live in the present on today's deposit. The Bible says tomorrow is promised for no man. Invest it so as to get from it the utmost in health, happiness, success, and God. The clock is running. Do you know that, church? There was an old song back in the 50s and 60s. Time goes by so slowly. They were fools. <laughs> <laughs> nice song. Foolish. Foolish. Time goes by quickly. The clock is running. Make the most of today. To realize the value of one year, just ask a student who has failed his final exam. To realize the value of one month, ask the parent of a premature baby. To realize the value of one week, ask the editor of a weekly newspaper. To value and realize the value of one day, ask a daily wage laborer who has to feed a large family. To realize the value of one hour, ask lovers who are waiting to meet. To realize the value of one minute, ask a person who missed the train, who missed the bus, who missed the plane. To realize the value of one second, ask a person who survived an accident. To realize the value of a millisecond, Ask the person who won the gold medal at the Olympics. Treasure every moment that you have and treasure it more because you share it with God. It's special enough to spend your time with someone else. And don't forget, don't forget that time waits church. we got to enjoy the ride. Do you receive it? Amen. Let's give God a shout. Well, if you see I'm going to this out in prayer. I thank you, church. I pray this message was for you. As the Lord knows, it was for me. Praise the Lord. Let's stand as we close.